so hopefully by the end of this you will know a thing or two about the common misconceptions that are going around. Number 10. If I throw a coin off the Empire State Building, I'll kill someone. A penny only weighs about a gram and because of its shape and size it has a very small terminal velocity, so it wouldn't actually kill anyone if it landed on the head, but it would definitely hurt. A lot. Number 9. The 5 second rule. I can almost guarantee that bacteria doesn't follow the 5 second rule. Whenever food is dropped onto a surface, no matter how clean it is, it has normally got bacteria on it. So as soon as it comes in contact with that surface, it is in contact with the bacteria. Now you could argue that 5 seconds is not long enough to get a lethal dose, but it only takes like one strain of Ebola to have blood pouring out your eyes. Gross. Number 8. Wearing a hat keeps most of your body heat in. The theory is that most of your body heat dissipates through your head, and so by keeping a hat on will keep the heat in. This was created by the US military in the 1950s in order to get their troops, who would normally cover up from neck to toe, to cover their heads too. But it has been shown that kids only lose about 10% of their heat through their head. Number 7. Hairs and nails will continue to grow after you die. From the moment that you die, your cells begin to rot away. Hairs and nails are included. The reason that they look longer, however, is that your cells become dehydrated, so they shrink. So all your skin around your head, fingers and toes shrink until your head, fingers and toes get effectively smaller. This can give the appearance that your hair and nails have gotten longer, but they really haven't. Number 6. Gold plated cables have a lower resistance. The idea being that gold is the best conductor and so has a high conductance or low resistance, which would suggest that they're more effective. However, you can find out for yourself after a short time googling that gold is not the best conductor. Silver is at room temperature, then pure copper, pure gold, aluminium, zinc, nickel, brass, bronze, pure iron and platinum. But pure gold is resistant to corrosion whereas pure copper isn't, so over time gold becomes better than copper. So why the gold cables? The reason they use gold is because it is resistant to corrosion so that the ends of your cables don't rust away. Not that I have ever had a cable go rusty, but there's a first time for everything. Number 5. Goldfish have terrible memories. Just because they swim in circles all day doesn't mean they're an idiot. Goldfish have actually been proven to be rather smart when it comes down to it. They have shown abilities to relate vibrations to feeding time so that they know when you're about to feed them. This is why when you go near the fish tank they all generally swim towards the top. They have also shown that they can remember a maze incredibly well. Once they have been through the maze, they can then go through and again and again and again, even with large time gaps in between. Number 4. When you look up at the blue sky, you can see white blood cells in your eyes. It would be cool to be able to see your own blood cells, however this is not what it is. As you get older, your vitreous humour, that's the part of your eye between your retina and your lens, which is normally transparent, starts to break down and degrade. When this happens, it becomes more opaque and then can cast a shadow over your retina. The official name for this is called floaters, but it has a more scientific name, and that is myodysupse. Number 3. Deoxygenated blood is blue. I spent a long time arguing with people about this. The idea behind this is that your veins look blue. In diagrams, veins are coloured in blue, however this does not mean it's true. Blood contains a lot of red blood cells which get their colour from a protein called haemoglobin. Haemoglobin is red due to the amount of iron in it. Now it is the haemoglobin that combines with the oxygen to make the oxygenated blood, which is bright red. But when it is deoxygenated, it is dark red. However, colouring in your diagrams with red and dark red could be kind of confusing. Number 2. Glass is a slow moving liquid. This is my favourite one. I first heard it when someone was telling me about the misconception that glass is a solid, and I believed it until I researched it for this video. Their claim is that in old churches and buildings, the glass is thicker at the bottom than at the top, suggesting that over years it has slowly flowed down towards the bottom of the frame. However, looking at how glass was made in these areas, you can see that this is not the case. Once they have their molten glass, it would be rolled, blown, expanded, flattened, and then finally spun into a disc so that it could be cut into panes. When it is spun into a disc, it causes the glass to be thicker on the outside of the disc than in the middle. And because they weren't idiots then, they installed the glass heavy side down. So glass is not a liquid, but it's not a solid either. It's an amorphous solid, which is somewhere in between. 
Number one, the mantle is a liquid. The idea that the mantle is a liquid seems to be taught to every kid in high school just because it's easier to explain and understand than the truth, which has some sense behind it, but the mantle is actually only 1% liquid. This would also mean that tectonic plates don't actually move because of convection currents. There are still convection currents, but they are not strong enough to move the plates around. Plate tectonics is due to something called slab pull and ridge push, but that's for another time. 